These pictures that I am showing you is possibly the latest pictures from the Free Gorges Dam taken, and I will tell you how long it is, taken from April the 21st, 2021. And there have been, or has one other video that has been released. I think it was in September when, but it wasn't as up close and personal as this. Monday the 21st of February 2022, a warm welcome to the channel. Yes, I'm back again, James, in the James Neil Cooper channel, the Free Gorges Dam, the daily update of what's happening with the biggest, largest, tallest, widest, fattest, most controversial, annoying, should be um, dismantled dam in the world and we're going to do a little bit of satellite tracking for today using two one is senatorial and the good old google earth but not just about the free gorges dam in itself also trying to find the other dams on the yangtze river around chongqing etc come and join me for the journey does that make sense yeah let's do it Okay, so first of all, this is the Senatal satellite, and this is from a website called Senatal Playground, where you can just see the images. And what I'm doing is just scrolling along upstream from the three gorges. And this was, these images are from earlier of this month, 2022, February 2022. You can see the high lying ground has, does have a lot of snow. And in between the three gorges and Chongqing, there aren't any dams but i just wanted to see anything related to the river etc etc like that and you can see it's mainly quite fascinating that even like two weeks ago pretty close to two weeks ago there was quite a lot of snow on the higher grounds and the more west you go you can see this again this is from the senatorial satellite and you can find this just go to senatorial.com hit the playground and there you can see um, the Yangtze River and you can see a bucket load of snow. But let's get to Chongqing and let's see if we can find some, something there. You, could, you can actually do this yourself. Again, just going to the website, I've said that three times now, and just typing in free gorges or typing in Chongqing, really easy to use and just having a look for yourself. It's quite fascinating. And again, because the images are the newest images possibly that we have, and the first images, satellite images of 2022. Let's continue. And here is one dam there, I think. And you can just see the different kind of images. This is past Chongqing. This is going away from Chongqing and going into the upper reaches there. Then I decided to go to Google Earth. Now, Google Earth at the Free Gorges is just a Photoshop botch job. Not real. Don't know what's happening there. But upstream of that, again, past Chongqing, you can see some better images. And this is what I've done here. It's more believable. Can I say, put it like that. I don't know when these images are. Google Earth don't release the actual date on it. But let's go into this and let's have a look at some of the things here. The first one um, concerned upstream of Chongqing is this last large muddy area. And my question is, and maybe people can help me here, what is it? We go to the second image. We go into the second image here, upstream again of Chongqing. And there is a bridge linking the north to the south of the Yangtze River. And this one was quite interesting. Is this a bridge? Is this a bridge being built or is it a bridge that tried to be built and wasn't completed or is it just a sort of like jetty area for boats and ships remember past Chongqing not many ships do go up there not the size to Chongqing on the Yangtze River because the water level is not as high and the level or the width of the river is not so 
uh, wide. So it's only going to be the smaller vessel which can go in there. This says, with the next picture here, this is a dam. But I can be damned if I can find a dam. And I do believe we got one more. And this one was very interesting. I'm not too sure how many kilometers up from the dam it is, from Chongqing it is, but look at that. Now, is that a dam or is that just a cliff with water pouring over it? These things, I just don't know. And again, do have a look yourself. And I'd love to hear some of the comments related to all of this, what I've shown you in the last couple of minutes. This is an article I found on Wikipedia. Now, I know Wikipedia is not the best encyclopedia in the world. I would say Britannica is. But this is what they write. And I can't remember the actual title I searched for. But let's have a read. Yes, I'm going to do the reading. And like this. Dams and reservoirs in China are numerous and have been produced effects in the country's development and people. According to the World Commission in the year of 2000 related to dams, there were 22,104 dams over the height of 15 meters operating in China. Of the world's total dams, China accounts the most, 20% of them, 45% of which are used for irrigation. According to the oldest dam still belongs to the irrigation system that which dates back to 256 BC in 2005. There were 80,000 dams in countries and over 4,800 dams completed in the construction which stands or exceeds over 30 meters in height as of 2007. China is the world leader in construction of large dams followed by Turkey, Japan and which is the third, Turkey and Japan which is third. The tallest dam in China is the Jinping Dam at 305 meters tall. It's an arch dam, which I'm sure we showed before, which is also the tallest dam in the world. Dams, I think that will do. Yes, yeah, that will do. And here you can actually see a list of some of the dams in China. Again, this is from Wikipedia and it has a lot of the information about the date it was created, the inflow, the outflow, the maximum, the electricity, the heights, the type, etc., etc. So I'm going to leave you with a little bit of music over this and just put it on pause at any time. Do look for the dams built in the Mao era from the 1950s near enough to the end of the 1970s. While searching more on Google Earth, I did find this dam. Now, this is in Yunnan province, and Yunnan province is just in the southwest of China. It's one of the poorest areas in China, but you can see this one. The right-hand side with the darker water seems to be the upper reaches. Then you can see the flow, the streams of water, the sluice gates open. This is Google Earth, so I don't know when this was actually taken, but you can see it's quite a large dam indeed. 
Right, so let's go into the levels. Absolutely crazy at the moment. This one didn't translate into English. Don't worry. The top one is Kutan, which is Chongqing. This goes at 170.30. And third from the bottom is the Three Gorges. And it's gone down by eight centimeters as of yesterday. But today in the morning, it was 169.91. The inflow is not there and the outflow has shot up again to 9,340. Yesterday, it, the outflow was 6,300. So that's like 3,000 cubic square meters of water has been gushed out and nine centimeters of water has been released as of a 24 hour period. Nine centimeters is what? That much, possibly, um, like maybe like three and a half inches or something like that. So my uh, conversion rate is terrible. And does this mean something is wrong? It feels that the inflow and the outflow is incredibly unstable. The weather forecast is, um, I have not showing it today, but it seems just like a pitter patter and nothing to write home about. And it's just something that we all got to keep an eye on. And I'm happy to do this on a daily basis. So we can see what's happening and see if there. Do remember though, this comes from the Ministry of Water Resources. Transparency in China is not the best in the world and it could be all porky pies a little lie but we don't really have any choice because there's no camera operating there there's nothing there but i am going to show you some images at the end of this related to uh, some of the flows that you can see here was an interesting article i found the hidden cost of china's shift to hydropower Beijing hopes hydropower can wean China off dirty fossil fuels, but new dams mean a big environmental toll. We can continue and have a little read of this. The concentration of dams will be particularly dense on the upper Yangtze River, where cascades equal to five times the 22.5 gigawatts capacity of the Three Gorges Dam are proposed. These dams will not only hold back water flow, but also the silt, heightening risk of major subsidence in the Yangtze Delta and floods around major cities such as Shanghai. So again, the 40% of the government way back when they decided to build the dam was right. And the 60% who were just like, so are just the yes men, like the Churchill dog going, oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes, uh, were right and the 60% were wrong. The cost of these dams are incredibly expensive and it doesn't come out of any, it doesn't come out of any government fund, it just comes out of the people's fund. It's a hidden kind of tax, a water tax. If you imagine that just over 40% of China's population are working, if they do work, and like everyone else, they do pay their taxes, but when they're but they also have additional ones covered into the tax. So imagine an extra 200 RMB, which is sort of like 40 cents, multiply that by 500 million is possibly what they have to spend on just the water tax. And then we have the other taxes hidden away with the Chinese tax system. Oh, what a nightmare. And to finish off with today, some more images from April the 21st, 2021, this was. Near enough, the latest images. And let's go through some of these ship's locks. And after the ship's locks, let's have a look at some of the uh, ships, cargo ships, vessels that go up and down the Yangtze River all the way from Shanghai to um, Chongqing just the cheapest form and i will love you and leave you have a happy day wherever you are there are some bloopers towards the end of this so do stick around for that and be good be safe be well bye bye for now thank you so much for your time i'm out of here bye bye 
But when I searched deeper, I did actually find this dam on the Yangtze River above Chongqing. And I was just wondering which one it is, if anyone has any, di any ideas. If you look at it closely, you can actually see that the on the right hand side it seems to be um sorry on the right hand side it seems to be like that's the oh i need to do this again there but when i searched deeper a little bit on from today i did find one dam apart from the three gorges and you can see the right hand side is higher than the left hand side and you can see the water flow this is Google Earth, so I have no idea when this was taken. And I wish they would actually have this actually on the Free Gorges Dam. We could see it in a lot more detail. I do remember where this comes from, actually. But let's do it again. So we've got to make sure everything is working first. We've got to do the camera angle. Bring it down there. Get it out there. And that should be okay. Let's check it.